guys, Eric here from Expedition Electric and today I'm going to show you how to make an electric bike. Alright, so we're going to take this bicycle with 26 inch tires and convert it into a 1000 watt Walmart uh, rear hub, so it's going to go on the back tire conversion kit and it's going to require a battery, so I have a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery that we're going to use with this. And when it's completed, it should be able to hit speeds at about 29 miles an hour. And if you didn't want to pedal it at all, I'd say it'd take the average person uh, 15 to 20 miles. And if you did want to pedal with it using pedal assist, uh, meaning that it just sort of helps as you pedal, allowing you to go further distances, you could probably go, uh, I would guess, probably 30 to 40 miles on a battery charge. Maybe longer, maybe a little shorter, let me know. I mean, the toughest part of this conversion is, is really trying to figure out how to say Voila Mart. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Voila Mart or is the V silent? Is it Voila Mart or is it with more of an accent like Voila Mart? I don't know, like uh, if you could, or Viola Mart maybe. If you could let me know, that would be great. Uh, I've been struggling with that all day. So uh, let's get to the conversion. So these are the tools and the parts that I'm going to use. Uh, notice you got the battery here, and you've got, this is the 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery, and you've got the computer system right here, and then the wheel down here. I'll put a list of all the tools you'll need in the video description. All right, so some things to check out before starting your conversion. You gotta make sure that you're using a bike with multiple, that has multiple speeds. Uh, if it's just a single speed bike, most of the time uh, your area here is not large enough to fit the Walmart tire. Also, you can see here I have the disc caliper brakes that are typically a little bit better than the V brakes. These are uh, pretty much a standard on all good e-bikes. Notice how the chain here is on the smallest ring. It's not up here, it's down here. So you're going to have to use your shifters. Uh, put them on the highest number on the right handlebar to get them down here so that you can take off the wheel a little bit easier. And I'm gonna, my, this is an easy to remove lever, so I'm just gonna pull the lever and start unscrewing. Sides. And there we go, that wheel has come loose. So now the wheel is completely off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the battery off here for a minute with this red switch on the side here, off, and then we're going to hook the computer to it with the red and the black, basically just hook the red to the red, and the black to the black. The battery, unit pack power is a great battery, and that is still powered off. Alright, so now I'm going to hook the cords together, they're color coded. I'm just going to, so what I'm going to do to test the throttle is definitely not crank it all the way up because I could rip this cord out here. So I'm just going to barely try the throttle very slowly and if this moves at all, I know the throttle is working and it's ready for the install. So let's give that a try. And there we go, we saw a move a bit there, and I don't want to do it any more than that, just wanted to see if it was working before putting everything together. I'm going to turn that battery back off, and then disconnect. So I'm now I'm using the star bit to remove the disc brake here. So now using that same bit, the bolts are going to come out of the electric wheel. So you can see here I used that star bit to install the disc brake onto the electric wheel. And this disc brake I have is 160 millimeters and it fit onto the wheel perfectly. So now I'm going to prepare this tire. Uh, to be put on the electric tire, so I'm going to unscrew the valve cap here, use the hex key to fully deflate this tire. So all the air is out of the tire, I'm going to go around and squeeze it so it becomes disconnected. 
Okay, so I'm gonna use the tire lever. It's gonna help create some leverage here. Got one tire lever. The second tire lever, lever there. You can see the edge of the tire's already stuck, trying to come out. I can use this, slide it along. I'm gonna get the other side of the tire out. And there we go. So I'm gonna try to put this all on at once here, lining up the valve. There it is. Then I'm gonna slowly work my way around the tire tube is still in there so if you're able to do the do it this way without having to remove it I can save you some time so now I'm gonna work the edge of the tire into the rim wall here slowly going around the tire so I got all of that side in I'm gonna flip it over Get this side in now, if you have any trouble doing this, I also have another video, uh, how to change a bike tire tube and how to remove a bike tire. So you can check those out if that's what's holding you up in your conversion. But now look, we've got this tire on here. I'm gonna kind of spin it around a couple times and, and squeeze the rubber, just making sure that like the tube of the tire, the part that's inflated is not sticking out anywhere and everything's good to go here. So this is ready to get go on the bike. So I'm gonna put a bit of air in the tire here with my bike pump before. So now we're ready to get that electric back wheel on. Make sure you have it pointed the right way. Break that over here. I'm going to set it right into here where the dropouts of the frame are. So. Got to make sure I set it on top of that chain there. Got to make sure the washer's on the correct side, which is that side of the frame. Same thing the other side. Might even have to kind of wiggle it in there, but it did go in and the washers are on the correct side. See here. So now what I have here is the torque arm, which I'm going to install onto the bike. This does not come with the conversion kit. I bought this separately. I'll, give, I'll show you the link. And um, what this is going to do is prevent the wheel from rotating out of the dropout here. I'm probably going to actually get one for the other side too, but right now I just have the one. So I can have double to really, this is an important safety feature for a hub drive uh, e-bike conversion kit. So I'm going to put this washer on here. Then I'm going to slide it right here. Now I can hook this metal together. And tighten it with this screw. So now it's really on there tight. This isn't going anywhere. And I would say as a safety precaution, I'm definitely gonna check these bolts every time before I get on the bike. I don't want these to come loose. So now I'm gonna prepare the handlebars. Uh, first, I'm gonna start off by take, taking off the grips. There we go, so now I've got the, the brake unhooked. I'm gonna first I'm gonna take off this piece simply by lining up the grooves. 
There we go, so that piece is removed, there we go. Now I can take off the rest of this brake. Okay, I'm gonna install the brake that came with the kit. It's gonna go all the way here. Notice it's got the uh, electric wire and then it's got the wire for the brake. So now I got this lined up, I'm just going to through here and then screw this on so now I can slide it through here on the brakes see this part hooks into here there we go all right so I'm gonna get this back on the bike here gotta turn the handlebars a bit and slide right back on I'm not going to put the throttle on this side. I'm going to put the throttle on the right side of the bike. Okay, I'm ready to get that grip back on there. Just slide back on. You might have a little trickier time getting your grip back on. You might want to get new grips. Um, this grip's working fine for right now. I'm going to tighten. As soon as that grip's fully on though, I'm going to tighten everything down. Make sure it's fully secured. Got the brakes working. We are good to go. So now everything is secure. Brakes are working. Got that full left side done. Now it's time to go on to the right side. To remove the shifter. There we go. I had to turn the handlebar to get the shifter off. Now we just got the brakes to remove. I'm able to remove from here. Now it's on here. Now I just gotta line up the gaps to remove the brake cable because the uh, brakes that come with the conversion kit uh, also have an electronic signal that gets sent to the computer. So um, it stops providing power to the motor once when you hit the brakes. Not only does it use your current brake system, but it stops the motor. So that's an important, uh, important safety feature. What I do is put the brake on this side. So I'm gonna line this up to put the brake cable through here. I'm gonna get the brake cable back through here. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna slide those shifters back on, turning the handle again, turning the... And then we're gonna install the throttle. So now we're gonna install the thumb throttle. Just goes right on here, all the way tightened. Move, make sure everything's as far down as it'll go. I don't want the, this hanging off the side. And then just has a simple hex key at the bottom to tighten. So what I'm going to do is put the three cords now, the throttle and the two brakes, right on top of the bike here. And secure this with a zip tie. I'll trim this zip tie after that. The three cords there. So then what I'm going to do is use this uh, cord manager here to wrap these three cords so that they're just one All right, so let me know what you think about this setup. I don't really like it, so I'm gonna go with something else. This is the 13 amp hour battery. It just barely fits in there. I don't like how the computer sits right here. It does not fit there. But also, I'd like to use this battery. This is the 15 amp hour battery. It does not fit in there. Um, but yeah, maybe I should get the uh, 11 amp hour unit pack power battery. So then I can probably put the computer in here also. Um, Plan B, I'm gonna try this. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think, what looks better. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. So instead of putting the 13 amp hour 
48 volt battery on the down tube. I put the 15 amp hour, since it wouldn't fit, I couldn't get everything in the down tube area. I put the 15 amp hour battery in this back. So here's the battery, and then the computer's in its own case right here. The battery's connected, and uh, all the cords are connected here. And then, as you can see, just a few cords going on the bike here that I've wound up. But other than that, you just look like you've got a pack on the back of your bike, and this thing will go hauling. Just zip it up, turn on the battery, since it was off while I connected it, and it's ready to go. Okay, so here's the finished bike. And uh, I have it all done except for the kickstand. That's why I have a flower pot holding it up right now. But as you can see, I got the uh, throttle here. Light, shifters, put on the brakes. The cords are just run through here. And then they go right up in here into the bag. So the coolest thing about this, I mean, it's when you ride it, it's completely silent and you can, I didn't put the pedal assist on, but you can pedal when you want or go fully electric when you want, or you can do a little bit of both. You can pedal and use the electric option. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can drive it through on the street, you can drive it on the grass, you can really take this thing anywhere. And uh, I'm looking forward to hitting the roads.